It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of patience. It was the hip hop of the beat. It was the hip hop of the dreams. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. Today I'm standing before you all. You see this quote from Charles Dickens that told two cities to begin this huge in remembrance of my teenage years. <coughs> my teenage years, probably like a lot of yours, was a time of discovery. It was a time period that I laid the foundation of my life to figure out, first, where I want to be, second, what am I supposed to be doing, and what, most importantly, who am I actually? And it was during this time that I made the decision that I want to step out of my comfort zone, leave my parents, my loved ones, my friends, and all the things I loved in China to go to a country that's thousands of miles away to pursue my academic work. You know, second language. And this journey was filled with difficulties and bitterness. As I spoke before in North Carolina, it was the first time I discovered oh, there's something for Asian discrimination. I was laughed at only because of my lack of ability to speak in English and also discriminated because of my color of my skin. And then I moved to Seattle. As I spoke before, it was a time period that I moved from one place to another. I never stayed in one place for more than a year. And more, more about that, it was a time period that in the city it rained. And rain. <laughs> like God shed all of these tears upon one city. Well, it made me to cry for the insecure feeling that I had inside. This time period wasn't really healthy for a girl to develop her sense of belongings and security in a foreign country. But it was because of this journey through my teenage years that I was able to build my character. It was in the middle of all the discriminations I realized that I, myself, need to be the first one to believe that I'm not anyhow different from anyone else. I need to stand up, stand straight, and be confident when I defend myself, when I speak out in the second language, to say that I'm not different from you all. And it was in the middle of all the rainy, rainy weathers, and between family to family, that I learned to love everyone around me, because I'm not going to spend much time with them. And also to adjust myself according to the situation, to be flexible, to embrace changes. So now I'm able to stand on this beautiful ground to embrace the sunshine, the ocean view, and all the view around me. And now I can say that thank you, teenage years, for teaching me so many valuable lessons. And so long, teenage years, I have a bright, big future of me. And rest in peace, my teenage years, for I will always keep the precious memories you brought to me and press on toward a bigger, wilder than me. So now, I invite you to close your eyes. Think about a moment in your teenage year. Highs and highs. And now listen to me. For the last time I speak, a little modified version of this time of two seconds. It was the winter of despair, but it was the spring of hope. It was the season of darkness, but it was the season of light. It was the epoch of incredulity, but it was the epoch of belief. It was the age of foolishness, but it was also the age of wisdom. It was the best of time.